Guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Today I'm doing the horror show's creature tag. Ten awesome questions by a very awesome horror channel. If you get a chance to check it out, I'm going to leave the link to his channel below. And the first question is, favourite creature feature? This is a hard fucking question. Because I love my monster movies. Uh, be it Jurassic Park, be it Aliens, be it The Thing. Um, but I'm going to have to go with uh, a classic uh, Predator the 1987 action movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I adore this movie. It is a very kind of classic pulp story of warrior men going up against an unknown force. And the entity itself, the Predator, the Yacha, as we're known in Expanded Universe, is an amazing design. It's kind of funny to think that this was actually a backup kind of scramble design. Boss Studios had originally designed the creature and it was an atrocious mess. It looked like a Power Ranger villain and uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme had the uh, ill fortune of having to portray it. But quickly it was scrapped and we got the creature we know and love today, the Predator Warrior. Stan Winston's design of the dreadlocks and the tusks and the mandibles. And just when you saw it, when you saw it face off against Arnold Schwarzenegger, you were like, shit, Arnie's going to get his fucking arse fucking bit. Uh, also, the performance by Kevin Peter Hall, that performance was awesome. His movement, the way he held himself, the Maasai warrior pose, everything lent to that creature. And I say creature, not monster, because he's not some marauding beast. He's a hunter, he's a gamesman, he has a purpose. And I think that lends it to be such an indel indelible creature. It's not just some marauding beast, it is a genuine awesome force from outer space that has come to hunt these men and that's why predator is my favorite uh creature feature next question favorite creature design um i'm going to go with an odd one here and i think a lot of people are going to be scratching their head and going are you off your fucking rocker i'm going to go with godzilla because godzilla is a metaphorical design he is he is a metaphor for the destructive nature and power of nuclear energy the japanese were not allowed to express their ill fortune at the hands of the nuclear t testing in the Pacific and also the dropping of bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So Toho decided to make this movie about a creature who has been spawned from nuclear energy, a long extinct beast which has been mutated and malformed into an unstoppable force. Its design for me is, is, is cool because it had charred black skin. The creature was something that was reminiscent to people who had suffered during those nuclear attacks. Its skin was blackened and burnt like holo um, not Holocaust survivors but nuclear bomb survivors of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. He was something that had been painfully brought to life as a result of the nuclear energy and the nuclear bombs which were tested in the ocean and transformed him. He was a force of nature, a destructive force of nature, which didn't spare man, woman or child. It, it was such a great design to have this slow lumbering monster. The slow lumbering monster may have been representation of the fallout that was slowly eating away at the, the citizens of Japan. And it just it just showed how destructive and how 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 fragile nature and human life is because of this this beast this nuclear beast that has been unleashed and for me i think the godzilla design is very representative of that and i think it is a great example of how creators had had decided to go okay we can't talk about what we've suffered at the hands of nuclear energy outright so we're going to design a beast around what has happened and and, and what happened to us so that for me is why godzilla i think is a great kind of monster or creature design. He is, an he is the embodiment of nuclear destruction. Next question, uh, which you prefer, humanoid or not humanoid? Um, I think, I think it's an interesting kind of thing to look at because the older creature features had guys in suits, but it, when they were done well, as I said, with Predator or even Alien, they, they, if, you, if you shot them right, they were good. But I have to give props to someone who can do a non-humanoid creature, a good non-humanoid non creature. 
and the best example of that would be uh, Rob Bottin's work on the team. I think if you can do something that doesn't require someone to be in a suit and it looks real and genuine, props to you. CG has made things like that a hell of a lot easier, but I have to give props to someone who can design a creature and they don't have to use like computers or CG or kind of real kind of modern trickery. They, they use the glue, the elastic band and the kind of chewing gum kind of tactics to make something look indelible and cool. And for me, I think I'm going to go non-humanoid because if you can create a non-humanoid creature, that's props to you. I'm going to give you that. Next question. Uh, favorite kill by creature? Um, hmm, I think this is a hard one. But I am going to go with the team, John Carpenter's the team, when Doc Copper is using the uh, defibrillator paddles on, uh, I think, not Blair, I think it's Norris, and he hits Norris with the paddles, and Norris's rib cage opens up and fucking takes off uh, Doc Copper's hands. That would probably be my favourite kill in any kind of creature movie, and definitely one of my uh, top 10 kills in any kind of horror movie. Um, Next uh, next question, what is your favourite lesser known creature movie Would and would you recommend it? I think I am going to go with Split Second, uh, 1990 sci-fi actioneer starring Rudger Hauer and he's, uh, he's essentially tracking a creature that may or not, may not be uh, Satan, it may or may not be a toxic mutant and it's living in the flooded undergrounds of London in the future of I think 1997. <laughs> But uh, it's it's a pretty fun, schlocky movie, and uh, if you like the likes of Aliens or the pre the Predator movies, uh, definitely give it a look. It's it's nowhere near as good as those, but it's great fun. And Rudger Hauer is just fucking. I I think he's pissed drunk for half of it, but it's it's a fun movie. And if you get a chance, definitely check out Split Second. Good good movie to check out with a couple of mates and a couple of beers. Uh, next uh, question. Uh, first experience with a creature feature. Oh, uh, my first creature feature I watched, and it, I'm trying to decide which one they were, which ones they were, because I was very young at the time. I think it might have been Black Scorpion. It was an old black and white movie uh, with stop motion that had giant scorpions attacking the denizens of a, a small Mexican town, and I just thought it was so fucking creepy, especially when they went underground and there was other like insects. Uh, giant insects and monsters was a centipede fighting a scorpion. I was like, oh, that's creepy. It's either that or uh, Dances with Dwarves with Peter Fonda versus versus a bunch of uh, reptile pygmies. But uh, yeah, I think I think it was Black Scorpion. I'm gonna go with Black Scorpion. Uh, next question: uh, Favorite kill or old yeller moment? I always kind of feel bad for the monsters when um, when they're killed. Because nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, you they can't really you can't really blame them. They're just creatures. I think the old yeller kind of sad moment would be the death of the rancor in Return of the Jedi, um, when <laughs> the big slabbering monster is about to kill Luke, and it get then it gets uh, crushed by the um, crushed by the gate, and it kind of it lets off like this kind of puppy like whimper as it's dying, and <laughs> the rancor keeper is crying. I was like. Oh, that's Fucking, that sucks. The Rancor was just kept in a cage. It wasn't its fault. So I kind of felt bad for Rancor. Um, next moment. Uh, next question. Uh, tense. T uh, a tense moment in a creature feature. Um, or what would I consider the most tense moment in a creature feature? Probably in Alien, where uh, Ripley is trying to get from the main part of the ship to the escape shuttle. And she rounds the corner and the fucking the alien's chin just comes slowly comes through the corner. And she's trying to circumnavigate the ship to maybe turn off the self-destruct. She can't turn it off so she has to go back to the lifeboat again. So yeah, that would be a tense moment just where Ripley is trying to outsmart and survive the alien in, um, in Alien. Uh, if you get a chance actually, uh, check out the, uh, that there's a special, exp um, uh, what is it? Uh, extra content on Alien Isolation where you can play that section in the game. It's, it's great fun and if you get a chance definitely check it out. Uh, next up, uh, worst creature design. Um, oh, worst creature 
first future design. Probably Zash. If any of you guys have ever seen Zash, the guy who turns himself into a fish. It's, it's a really bad, terrible, terrible horror movie. <laughs> um, that or or the Beast in Heat, where there's some kind of uh, it's it's a Nazi exploitation movie from uh, the 70s, where this uh, uh, Puerto Rican midget who's supposed to be a troll is kept in a cage. And all he has is this weird nose prosthesis. Uh, stupid movie. Probably him or Zat. Uh, question 10. Uh, best modern creature feature in the last 15 or 20 years. I'm going to go with The Void. Jeremy Gillespie's The Void. Uh, awesome movie. Lovely throwback to the likes of Hellraiser, John Carpenter. Any kind of old kind of cosmic or creature features of the 80s. It references and it does a wonderful job of it. I highly recommend checking that out. So that was the horror show's creature tag. I had a great fun doing it and if you guys get a chance I, I suggest you give it a go. Uh, I'm going to actually tag uh, the Deadly Dames in this one because it's a it's an awesome tag and it's uh, well worth a go. So my name is Martin. This has been the Trash Picture Show. Like, subscribe and uh, yeah leave a comment. Bye now.